It is February 28th, 2021, 7.01 p.m. I should be, don't have to deal with that problem again for like another year. The problem would be say March every time and I'm supposed to say February. <laughs> now I'll probably start saying April instead of March for the next entire month. All right, this is episode 1166. Um, I really just wanted to do two cartoons. I mean, just the one cartoon this weekend, take today off. And, uh, but there's, there are three issues I wanted to cover. The first one was MBS, so I did that Saturday morning. And I did this one today. I had a couple ideas this morning, but I wasn't really in love with them. So I thought, well, was, today I got to build my clients anyway, so let me go ahead and do that first. And I'll think about this. And then when I came upon the Mr. Potato Head thing in my head, I was like, yeah, that's it. That's what I want to do. And it didn't take too long. I made a meatloaf while I was doing it. Well, I made my meatloaf. And then I stuck it in the oven to cook. And then I came back and I inked the cartoon and stuff. I had already kind of roughed it up. Did the lettering. And then by the time uh, my meatloaf was done before I was finished with the cartoon. But then I came back and I let the, the meatloaf kind of cool. And then I finished coloring and everything. And then I published the cartoon. And then I had a slice of meatloaf. And it was still too soon. So you gotta let it let it sit for a little while, you know? I think. I think. But the best part is is that, that meatloaf is one of those things that it's better the next day. So it'll be better tomorrow. You just like pasta, you know, or chili. So tomorrow it'll be much better. And I can have sandwiches. I didn't even bother with any sides, I just, just had the meatloaf. And I bought this bowl to mix it up in, and the bowl is way too big. And it kind of pisses me off a bit how large this bowl is, but I'm keeping it. Um, I might give it away and get a smaller one. Just give it to somebody. I don't know. Anyway, why, why am I telling you all this? You don't care. You don't care about my meatloaf big bowl issues. All right. Uh, CPAC, you're a cult. Republican Party, you are a fucking cult. They literally dragged out this golden statue of Donald Trump. And some people were literally bowing to it. And I'm using the word literally correct correctly here. You know? <laughs> Not figuratively, literally. They were bowing before it. CPAC, you are a cult. I, I have not listened to all of Trump's speech. I, I hope it's over by now. I think he started it like three hours ago. So, being like one of those Castro speeches. Goes on all day. Talks about himself. That's it. The whole issue for the Republican Party, though, is Trump's grievances. And everybody that he, he swears revenge upon. And that's, that's basically it right now. Because it's about Trump. It's just about Trump. And also the Mr. Potato Heads. <laughs> Republicans, they're more upset about Mr. Potato Head than any other issue. Any any policy and shit like that. They, they want to destroy the Constitution while saying they're saving the Constitution. And they want to go out and defend the integrity of Mr. Potato Head. And something to do with Muppets. Alright, um, Robert Codino says, wrong is wrong, even if it helps you. That's what we're saying, leave those Muppets alone. <laughs> and, um... Is also unsure about uh, how poignant it would be for Biden to issue sanctions when a sitting president has already refused. Yeah, but look at the last time, what we've already done. We uh, entered a, a treaty, several, and then Trump canceled all those. So how poignant was that? That it was not. So who knows? But they're not going to do anything about it anyway. They, they said that they're going to stop selling weapons for the for the civil war in Yemen that they're all fucking doing, and um, but they're still going to sell them weapons to uh, keep. The balance of power, okay, between Iran and Saudi Arabia. Like, TJ's down here saying that we attacked out Syria for no reason. But you know what? Donald Trump bombed runways in Syria. You didn't care about that. Um, I don't know about the whole Syria thing. I, um, I don't know. I, I think it's more of a thing to show that we're not, that Biden's not going to be, like, a pushover for Iran. And I don't think he's going to be. But it's really hard for you guys to say that he is a pushover for Iran when he did that. So, I mean, Donald Trump murdered an Iranian general, and which, by the way, is against the Geneva Convention. It's, uh, it's against American law also to murder um, uh, officials in other states. It was a hit, and that is illegal. Bruce Guthrie gives me a comment here about Turkey recording, having the audio. Of I don't know if they actually recorded it or if they got it. Somebody gave it to him, so I'm not sure exactly how that worked out. Um, 
know about Jamal Khashoggi. All right, folks, video almost over. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Bye.